Are you backing up your photos and your videos from your phone? If you don't want to lose those precious memories you have on your phone, this is where Amitch comes in. Amitch is an application that will help us back up our photos and our videos. It's easy to set up in Docker Compose, so stick around. Welcome back, guys. It's Rob with Tech. Today, I'm going to show you how to get Amitch working. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. But first thing is first, uh, we need to make sure that we have Docker Compose installed. Um, I'm, this is not going to be a tutorial for that, so if you need help with that, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, for now, we're just going to go into Services, Compose, Files. And we're going to create one for a Mitch. So we're going to go I Mitch. Now we need to get the instructions from online. So I'm just going to paste, copy and paste the commands. I mean, not the command, the compose file. So I'm going to show you how to get that. So we go and in how to install I Mitch. You're going to just go into their quick start or usually. We'll do the quick start, but basically you want to click on the Docker Compose. Now we can ignore this part. We just we're interested in this Docker Compose.yaml file. So I'm just gonna copy the link here, starting from HTTPS. This is what's gonna happen. This is gonna download the file. So then that should start downloading. So there it is, Docker Compose. Now we need also the environments, the environmental. I'm gonna copy that, and I'm also gonna download it. Now what you want to do after you download, you want to open up the Docker Compose. You can just right click, open with um, Notepad, and then it should give you the the Docker Compose file. So I'm just going to copy this and go back to Open Media Vault. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. The thing that we need to do is enable the show environments. So remember, we download the environments. Make sure you do open with and then Notepad. So here's our environments. I'm just going to go ahead and Control A, Control C. So I'm going to do control V. So now we have our, our Docker compose YAML file and we have our environments here. What you want to change is the password DB password. You don't want to leave it the default, but this is an example. I'm just going to leave it like that. Well, I guess we can change it too. I'm going to put like just numbers, but basically you want a secure password here. Now, basically what this is doing is just setting the environmental variables for the compose so the other thing that we need to change is we need to give it an upload location this would be the folder where you want this to be created and then you also have to give it a database data location so for now i'm just going to save it like this because i need to go get this so i'm going to click save now i'm going to go here to storage and once you click on storage you, you go to shared folders i usually have this app data set up this is where i have all my docker container data so i'm just going to copy this which is this link right here after that we're going to go back to services compose files i'm going to click the image the one we just created now in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a control v that's going to paste it now of course we don't want the period there so i'm going to remove the period what i am going to do is i'm going to add another forward slash and i'm going to call this a mitch and then we're also going to copy this and we're going to do the same thing for the one below. So you're going to go in here, control V. So you want to make sure that it looks like this. It's just basically telling it that I, you want your database located under this directory. It's going to be in the image folder and then the, the database. And anything that you upload, all the pictures, all the videos, is, is you're telling it that you want it to be in the image folder under this directory, under the library. Now here, if you want to be experimental or you want to get the version, uh, if you want a certain version, you can do something like this where you specify the version right here. I'm just going to leave it at release. So that's pretty much it. What we have to do here. So over here on the top, you can just leave the defaults. It's basically you can change the name if you want, because right now the, the container is going to start with image underscore server. But for this example, I'm just going to leave everything like that. You're going to notice that there's like this dollar sign upload locations. These are the environment, the variables, the environment variables, which which are the, the reason why. Like, so this upload location is the same thing as this upload location. So it's actually pulling it from your environmentals file. So that should be pretty much it. So we can click save or actually before we do that, we do need to change the environment here. So by default, uh, Open Media Vault will create the environment. This here in the bottom, it will create it with the name of the file. So you see how we specify name by Mitch. If you specify something else here, go ahead and put that here on the environment. So we're going to do Mitch. 
We also have to do the same thing. There's two of them. So there's another one here in the bottom. I think I missed it. Here. So we're going to do IMIC. Remember that this is strictly coming from the name that you put on here on the Docker Compose. I mean, on the name of this Docker. So we'll just save this. Now, the thing that we have to do, you want to make sure that it doesn't have errors. You can do a check. So you see that this loaded perfectly. If so, this is good to go. We're just going to run it. In case that you get errors when you do the check, then you did something wrong. You have to go back. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do up. Another thing is the port is going to be by default is using port 2283. I don't have anything that conflicts with this, but in case that you need a different port, more a port, just make sure you change this part. So I'm just going to save that. Well, it's already saved. We're just going to run it. I'm going to pause the video here just because this will take a little while to download everything. All right, so just finished creating. So remember that we're going to go to the IP address of Open Media Vault, which mine is this 10.0.0.40. And then we're going to go to the default um, port that we said, which is a 2283. Just going to go to new tab. I'm going to do 10.0.0.40 colon 2284, I believe it was. 83. So yeah, it's 20. So it's going to be the IP address colon. 2283. So there it is. I mentioned it's working now. We can do get started. Here you can just create. I'm just going to set up an example account and then just a very basic password. And you're going to name the account here. So we're just going to do, I'm going to do admin because it's the admin account. Make sure like this account that you first created is going to be an admin account. You can just see here in the message. We're going to sign up. Then we're going to sign with that account that we just created. Okay, now here's asking for the theme. I'll do dark theme. Here's up to you. If you want to include this, I let the version check. I remove the map. I mean, that's a really up to you. Storage templates. This is if you want to, whenever you upload your photos, if you want to keep a certain naming for your folder. So I did enable this. Um, there's this preset. The one I like is this one. Uh, so if I, if I upload camera, Basically, it's going to create that album called camera and then it's going to have the, the all the images in there or by whatever album you upload. Or you can choose something like this is all the templates there is. Like if you want to do it by by ear album, but I just chose the album date. In case that you didn't do this and you skip this part, we can this can be enabled later on. So I'm just going to click done. And there we have it. That's how we get initially installed. So in case that you want to do the storage templates after the fact, you can just click here on the top. You do administration, you do settings, and you go down to storage. Here in storage, you can find the same templates that we were doing. After you change this, you would have to run the migration job. That's in case that you turn this off or you want to start using it. That's where you will do it. Uh, so you can do storage template. Now in here if you want to run it you're looking for this one the storage template migration you can just run this and this would move all your your videos and files to that based on that template it's better to do it in the beginning so you don't have files everywhere so if you're wondering where is all this data located uh, we can just ssh into our system into open media vault i'm just going to do sudo so basically remember the path that we use in open media vault so i guess going back if you do you edit you go back to environmentals you can select this path here all the way to a mitch you can just copy this go back to here but in a very very beginning you have to make sure you do cd right so cd and then you give it the path now we're in the image folder, so ls-l. You're going to see that we have library and Postgres, Postgres for the database. We want to, we're interested in library. So right now we're doing ll, I mean ls-l. Uh, we have this here, uploads and library. So if we do ls-l and you look into uploads, there shouldn't be anything in there because we haven't uploaded anything. And library shouldn't have anything because we haven't uploaded anything. So when you enable the storage templates, like the one that we did album and then the image, so the folder structure that's going to get created is in library is going to create the users folder. In this case, it's going to be admin 
and then the album. Now I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to upload some pictures and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I uploaded some pictures. Now, the way I did it is I just downloaded the image app on the Android phone. I have an Android and it basically is very self-explanatory. So on the top, there's a cloud. You're going to click on the cloud. You select and backup albums. You, you click on the select button. I'll try to post a screenshot here. And then um, there's an object called sync albums. You want to enable that so that one make sure that the album name gets created. So here I uploaded a album called clipped images. So in here in library, we do an ls-l. Well, actually, you don't have to do that, but in the library, so it's kind of the library library. Now you see that there's an admin, and then if you check what's inside that admin, you're going to see that there's clip image. That's the album that I just uploaded. And of course, if we check what's in there, we have some images. Now going back to a image, like you can go back to here. You can see this is the, the pictures that I uploaded. Now, the, the other way you can upload stuff is uh, here you can just click the upload and then you can just select whatever you want from your computer but that's pretty much it i mean of course there's more configuration that you can do to this like um you're going to set up like the email server i think you have to do it under notification let's see yeah you can set up set up the email from here yeah, I'm not going to go over that in this video, but in case that you guys want more, more in depth or, or you want me to focus on a particular feature for a Mitch, let me know. Um, any questions, make sure you drop it down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.